Hi and welcome to this tutorial. In this video, we will be creating a price range filter for your products with the help of JetSmart Filters widget. So from the dashboard, we're going to find the Smart Filters label on your left and click Add New. Here, give a name to your filter. Here, add the label and the active filter label. Here in the filter settings, you can choose the type of the filter. So here I've got a number of options. To create a price range filter, choose the range option. So here if you wish, you can add the value prefix and the value suffix. Here if you want to insert a thousand separator. And here I have a little tip that you can insert for space. You can also choose the decimal separator, the number of decimals, and here is set the minimum value and the maximum value. If you want to go by steps, simply type in the desired step in here. And if you do not want to set the minimum value and the maximum value manually, you can choose the WooCommerce minimum maximum prices here in the get minimum maximum dynamically. The next field is query variable. And here you need to set the queried field key. In our case, this is going to be price. And here you also have the little tip here in the notes section. So we insert the underscore price here in the query variable. And we're pretty much set. For the values prefix, we're going to insert the currency sign. And click publish. So all the changes we have applied are saved. And here in the blank page in Elementor, I already have the product grid that I want to filter. Then I type in the word filter in the elements panel and I see Jet Smart Filters widgets popping up. So I need this one range filter and I drop it over there. And so here in the select filter field, I go ahead and I choose the one that I have just created. And here's the filter and it has created the minimum and maximum values according to the prices of the products that I have. And this filter for it is products grid. And here you can choose the apply type, which can be Ajax or the page reload. If you choose Ajax, all the filter results will be displayed right away once you make any changes to your filters. And here you can choose on value change or on the button click. Here you can enable the apply button and change the button label. Here you can enable the filter label. Here it goes and when you apply this filter, this label will be changed to the one that you gave to the active filter. And if you're using multiple widgets and multiple filters of the same type, it is recommended to use the query ID to link the particular widget to the particular filter. So in the style settings, you can change the look of this filter. Like so. And now let's go to the preview to check our filter in action. And here in the preview, let's move one of the sliders. And here you see that the products are being filtered according to the values that you're changing in your filter. So here we go. Now we know how to create a price range slider with the help of JetSmart Filters plugin. Hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching.